Uh, so if I were to, uh, uh, you know, uh, ask you a little bit, uh, you know, deeper into that uh, research, because it's interesting, because many a times, this is something that is not normally discussed, because you discuss campaigns, you discuss, uh, you know, creativity, you discuss uh, all other things in marketing, but literally a CEO, uh, you know, generating shareholder value with a marketing background. So what do you think they were doing right in your assessment? And if a marketer becomes a CEO, uh, what would your learnings out of that study be? And what do they do right? And what should they be doing if a marketer is appointed a CEO? That's a great question. In fact, we are actually continuing the research even as we speak. Uh, because I think, you know, I have to be uh, cautious about this. We're not saying that CEOs who come from marketing background alone uh, tend to do well. What I'm trying to say is people with marketing experience. Mm. So in other words, uh, the amount of years you put in as a marketing, in the marketing function, better understanding and better doing um, the tasks that you're set out to do. So for example, what uh, would be the effective, uh, effect of having a, a wider experience to marketing function, right? So one of the things we found is that marketing, people with wider exposure to marketing, CEOs with, uh, tend to have um, a higher uh, focus on R&D. So they would be working on products that uh, would add value to the customer, even if it takes uh, a longer time frame to, to develop that. So they have that longer customer value adding mindset, right? Um, and then we also found that they are willing to spend on marketing to create that value. So looking at marketing as investments uh, to be able to generate long-term value. Um, so I think the, the exposure to marketing and experience to marketing actually results in a long-term thinking and long-term view and a customer-centric view, which are very important in today's world, uh, an increasing competitive world. Um, so, you know, the, uh, the lessons for firms is that not only you encourage more uh, executives with marketing experience up the CEO path, but also give exposure to non-marketing people uh, who have the potential to become a CEO who are in the fast track and so on, uh, with a lot of exposure to customers with marketing uh, so that they can get that long-term perspective uh, the customer-centric perspective that many organizations seem to lack. Uh, one of the things, uh, Swami, you know, is that most of the marketing people in marketing function, at least uh, in the early days, is to do is to they would go a lot of times in the field to the customers and actually live in, in the customer's shoes to a certain extent, right? So if you're a, a CPG marketer, you would go, and um, spend time in your retailers or distributors or even the end customers' shoes trying to uh, understand how it is that they shop. Similarly, if you're a B2B CEO, you would go and spend time better understanding, putting yourself in the shoes. And those things are very important because to add value to the customer in the long run, those are very critical. And what happens if you're a non-marketing person or CEO you never probably meet customers. You never get to understand what goes on in the customer's mindset. And so this is why we feel that marketing has such an intrinsic role to play, a marketing experience in, it, in creating that mindset for the CEO towards adding shareholder value. Of course, our research is still going on on this. So we have, we have some more months to do and finish this. Hopefully, these insights will be helpful for firms to create that culture in the organization, to create that um, fabric in the organization by which more and more people uh, become long-term oriented and shareholder uh, value generator, uh, making marketing's role important and accountable.